got some soybean varieties here, some forage soybean varieties. Um, the first one I'm going to look at here, probably the most impressive one. And these are dairy, D-E-R-R-Y, soybeans. These are a non-GMO. This is a, a USDA developed forage soybean variety. Um, very long maturity and you can see it is, we're October 3rd now and it is setting some pods. Uh, but uh, very late blooming, continues to grow vegetatively through a long period of time and, and as you can tell very productive. Next to it here we have Laredo forage soybeans. This is one of the very first uh, soybean varieties that were ever brought to the United States. Uh, soybeans were originally imported not as an oilseed crop but as a forage crop and Laredo is very very similar to those first soybeans brought over to the United States. One of the advantages that Laredo has is the seeds are very small. They're a black seed, very small. Typically a soybean variety will have about 3,000 uh, seeds per pound. Laredo's have about 7,000 seeds per pound. So instead of planting 50 pounds an acre like you would with most soybean varieties, uh, it only takes 20 pounds of Laredo and makes it very cheap to plant. Um, it is a uh, shorter maturity than the dairy, um, but uh, uh, very economical cover crop, uh, pretty decent nitrogen fixer. And then uh, what we have over here next to it, we have some woodruff soybeans. And woodruffs are actually kind of just a long maturity grain variety, but one of the advantages that the, the woodruffs have, look at the leaf size on that. That's going to have it's a much more compact plant, doesn't get as tall. Looks to me like it's going to make a lot of seed. But uh, it's got these very large high protein leaves. Still has a lot of green to the plant. So uh, dairy, Laredo's, Woodruff's, three different forage soybeans, all with different advantages and disadvantages.